condolences to his family. And condolences continue to pour in from rank and file as there is more fallout inside the top ranks of law enforcement at the Capitol. It comes as the district is now trying to clamp down on demonstrations planned for Inauguration Day. We've got team coverage for you tonight. News Force Darcy Spencer standing by with the mayor's plan. But we're going to start with Scott McFarland, who broke news of more changes inside the Capitol Police Department. Scott, what can you tell us? Hey, Corey, good evening. Let's begin with what the Capitol Police Union told us about Howie Leadengood. Said he was a selfless servant of the U.S. Capitol Police Department and said the agency right now is just reeling. It's lost two officers this week, both of whom were responding to the January 6th chaos, but also 60 more of the officers were injured and countless more have just been traumatized by all of this horror. In the meantime, there are changes at the top of the department. Police Chief Stephen Sund of U.S. Capitol Police said he was going to resign January 16th. That would be Saturday. We've learned he's gone now. A new acting chief has taken over. We have her name. It's Ananda Pittman. She's a veteran of the department. She's been there since 2001. She's the first African-American woman to be a commander at the department. She's a Morgan State grad. She's local. She'll take over that department on an acting basis. What's more, there are changes at the U.S. Capitol Police Board, which oversees security on the Hill. Chief Pittman will join that. So will a new acting Senate Sergeant at Arms. A lot of overhauls going on as the weekend progresses. We know internally the Senate Rules Committee and the House Appropriations Committee have both launched investigations into what went wrong Wednesday, what mistakes were made in a security nature at the Hill Wednesday. Those reviews tend to take weeks, if not months. But a spokesman for the Federal Law Enforcement Officers Association, which represents a lot of federal law enforcement, says they want it done within 45 days to make sure whatever vulnerabilities are there are fixed. So again, as we return here live, the acting Capitol Police chief has taken over. The former chief now gone. New leadership at the Senate and House Sergeants at Arms. A lot of questions still to be answered. And a lot of threats still evident, still possible, according to law enforcement, as we get closer to Inauguration Day. Live tonight, I'm Scott McFarland. Corey, back to you. All right, Scott, thank you so much for that.